A group of white men and women taking a strong interest in issues surrounding racism and most importantly, the ways to solve them. Fox 8's Jordan Brown takes us to a Quaker church and sits in on their conversations as they work to be anti-racist in this week's In Black and White. That's right. It's not easy confronting our country's dark past, but this group says it's necessary to understand one another and be more welcoming and inclusive of people from different backgrounds. We've come a long way uh, since 1962. Uh, but there's still a long way to go, in my view. A lot has changed since Rudy Gord came to Greensboro in the 60s. He arrived at the height of integration at public schools and universities. I was a student at Guilford College down the road here on Friendly Avenue and uh, arrived in 1962, which was the year the first African-American student was admitted. It was the first time in his life he had a front row seat to racial issues in America. It's what set the foundation for the work he's doing today alongside his wife and church family. The working group to undo racism has been established since 2017 and uh, we try to do exactly what our name says, undo racism in any way that we possibly can impact that. Rudy, his wife Lou, and four to five other members of First Friends Quaker Church work to find ways to be anti-racist. It's a concept they're working to truly understand. Reading lots of books, having p speakers, and talking, uh, seeing videos, uh, Zoom conferences, things like that to educate ourselves. Education is key for Vicki McCready. I feel like I had a lot of catching up to do. She grew up sheltered from any talk about race, civil rights, and social justice. I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee during the 50s and 60s when the civil rights movement was happening. And a lot was going on in Nashville, Tennessee at the time. I didn't know anything about it. It wasn't talked about in my school, in my high school. It wasn't talked about in my church, and it wasn't talked about in my home. So I missed out on a lot. Being part of the working group has helped Vicki and the other members learn how racism is weaved into the fabric of our society, the struggles people of color face, and themselves. You're talking about how emotional it was, and, and still is. I mean, I catch myself daily doing something. We read The Color of Law by Rick and Rothstein and oh my gosh, I did, who knew that? Who knew about all that stuff? Of course now we know all about redlining and who was where and all that stuff. And not to mention what they did when the swimming pools right. oh, were yeah. supposed we to Heather be McGill's. opened up to everyone yeah. and how they just buried a lot of the swimming pools right. in order to keep black folks from right. not being able to yeah. swim. And that was here in Greensboro. This group isn't just all talk. They're about action, too. One thing they know how to do well is make a statement. The working group to undo racism uh, decided to put up a sign to let people know that we are an open and welcoming church. This is actually the third sign they've installed outside of their church home. The first sign said, undo racism. They hope the signs are also sparking conversations outside of the church just like the ones they've been having with each other. I'd rather be among the people that are trying our best to undo racism than to give up on it. The working group is always welcoming visitors. If you'd like to learn more about attending a meeting, you can attend First Friends Worship Service on Sunday mornings at 9 or 11.